The environment is better off with electric cars, according to research. Now is the time to take control of Tesla. This EV's vehicle has huge Tesla-like. What is that car's name? What does it look like? How much does this automobile cost? Stay tuned. We'll talk about them all in our video, so don't go anywhere and don't miss anything. Hey guys, welcome back to Texan. In today's video, we are going to talk about NEO ET5. So stay with us till the end of this video, so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. Let's start by talking about the biggest benefit of electric cars and how they can help clean up the air in towns and cities. Since they don't have a tailpipe, pure electric cars don't put out any carbon dioxide when they drive. This makes a big difference in lowering air pollution. Let's make it easy to understand. Electric cars make our streets cleaner, which makes our towns and cities better places for people who walk or ride bikes. Just one electric car on the road for more than a year can save about 1.5 million grams of carbon dioxide on average. That's the same as taking four trips from London to Barcelona and back. Electric cars, the net zero goal, and the future of the UK. The mayor of London says that about half of London's air pollution comes from cars and trucks. It makes sense that the UK government and local councils want to speed up the number of electric cars on the roads. The UK government has decided that petrol and diesel cars will no longer be sold after 2040. The government also wants to get rid of all carbon emissions by 2050, and electric cars will help a lot with that. Also, EVs can help reduce noise pollution, especially in cities where speed limits are low. Since electric cars are much quieter than other cars, driving one makes the world a calmer place for everyone. If we look at an electric car and a car that runs on gasoline, the main goal is to help people understand why, how, and when electric mobility lives up to its green image by reducing emissions per kilometer compared to fossil fuel-based mobility. A second goal is to show under what circumstances electric vehicles may underperform. For example, what happens when the size of the battery changes, if the background electricity mix changes, if the battery's lifespan changes, or if winter weather affects how well the battery works? What about the electricity that an electric car needs to run? The European Energy Agency did some research and found that, even with electricity production, an electric car emits about 17 to 30 percent less carbon than a gasoline or diesel car. When low-carbon electricity is used, there are also a lot fewer emissions from making electricity. Our viewers will be happy to hear that. The electric tariff is also made from 100 percent renewable sources. This helps people who drive electric cars make better decisions about how they charge up, so they can have the most positive effect on the environment while driving. Let's talk about the car we told you about earlier. Since the beginning, NEO has had a clear brand identity. We sell expensive high-end electric cars that are big high-tech fancy, and did we say expensive? It has had pretty good sales, especially considering how young it is and how expensive its cars are, but it is now making moves and aiming much higher. Like Tesla did when it released the Model 3, NEO is trying to sell a somewhat smaller and cheaper car to reach a large new part of the market. From what people are saying so far, it looks like it will be a huge success. Jay in Shanghai has always been a big Tesla fan who has followed the company's growth, development, and how people react to it. He owns a Tesla Model S and was the first person to start the Tesla Expat Owners Group. He is a big fan of Tesla. So when he said in that tweet, remember when the Made in China Tesla Model 3 hit stores in China in late 2019? Neo is having a moment like this, but it's even bigger. It not only surprised us a little but also impressed us much more than if someone else on Twitter had made the same claims or sent the same tweet. This seems to be a big deal, and it could be a turning point in the Chinese EV market. From the pictures, we can't tell if the consumer interest looks bigger or smaller, but it does look the same. The ET7 got a lot of attention, but the ET5 seems to be getting a lot more. The price of ET7 kept some people from looking into it. The ET5 is much easier for many more people to get. We had to look a little closer, but we find it interesting that NEO put the place to charge your phone wirelessly on the left side of the center console and both cup holders on the right. We've never seen that before, but we think it's a great idea. It's easy to grab a cup, but it's easier to grab your phone if you don't have to move around a big water bottle or a hot coffee cup. Since its start, NEO's sales have grown a lot from year to year. It's easier to do that on a small scale but it's still a big deal. Its sales went up 28% from January to August of 2022. 
But in August, Neo's sales went up 82%. We don't know how many of each model were sold in August, but Neo gives us the following information. Smart has sold 7,551 electric SUVs and 3,126 electric sedans, including 398 of the new ES7. At that rate, Neo will sell more than 120,000 cars a year. But since it is growing all the time, you should expect much more than that in a year. And keep in mind that Neo just hit a total of 200,000 cars sold in June. Also, the ET5 will be coming this month. We all have one question in our mind how far can Neo reach? With some time to ramp up, I don't see why Neo shouldn't be able to make 500,000 cars a year. This is especially true when you consider how fast EVs can be charged and how cool it is that they can swap batteries. But there are also one or two big wildcards. Neo has started doing business in Europe and may have even opened a factory there. We said at the beginning of August that Neo entered the Norwegian market last year. In the second half of this year, it will also enter the markets of Germany, the Netherlands, Sweden, and Denmark. In 2025, Neo also plans to enter the US market. If Neo does well in Europe and the US, it can reach new heights, and the prediction that it will only sell 500,000 cars a year could turn out to be too pessimistic and funny by the end of the decade. We know for sure that Neo is doing well in China, and that its new ET5 smart electric sedan is getting a lot of attention from customers. We can't wait to see how the sales go. Let's see how much it costs. The ET5's base price is still too high for most people, but it's in the same price range as the Tesla Model 3 and Xpeng P7. The price starts at 328,000, 47,354 US dollars, while the Neo ET7 starts at 448,000, 64,678 US dollars. Again, this is like comparing a Model 3 to a Model S, and we all know that the Model 3 was received much better by customers around the world than the Model S. When something is 50% less expensive, there aren't just twice as many people buying it. There are probably 10 or 20 times as many customers. What do you think of Neo ET5 and the things it can do? Can this electric car help in the long run? Like this car or not? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. That's all for today, guys. So if you want to see more great videos, please subscribe to our channel.